The missile has three phases of flight. The boost phase lasts three to five minutes. The mid-course phase can last 20 minutes. The terminal phase can last as little as 30 seconds. To counter the future threat, these guys have come up with a layered defense system. That means three chances to intercept any enemy missile. He's confident, but will it work? It used to be a normal Boeing 747, but with a few high-tech adjustments, they've turned it into a flying laser. Ingeniously, they named it the Airborne Laser, and it's the big daddy of missile defense. It's supposed to engage multiple targets and can hit them from hundreds of miles away. The plan's to have a team of seven ABLs policing the skies. Cruising at altitudes of 40,000 feet, they'll be ever ready for any hot missile action that might come their way. Here's how it works. Using six infrared lasers, the ABL constantly scans the horizon for missiles. Once a target is found, a laser-ranging pod measures its distance with a carbon dioxide ray of light. A track illuminator laser then pinpoints a specific target area on the incoming missile. Once all systems are go, a high-energy laser is fired at the target. If it hits the flank for just two or three seconds, the missile explodes. That's a boost phase bullseye. So far, the U.S. Air Force only has one ABL. The tech heads are making sure that the lasers and avionics systems do what they're supposed to do. They take it apart, they put it back together. But some leading laser scientists think that moisture and air turbulence will affect the ABL's laser quality. And when it comes to the crunch, one missile will always get through. 